How you guys doing tonight? Happen to have a game against uh, Twitch TV user Black Hair Cross. Uh, I've seen his name around in the channel a little bit, and I was like, you know what, let's play, because uh, that was the thing I was doing that night. I was doing some battles and whatnot. Um, kind of messing around with weather a little bit as well. Tried to hail the first game, did not really like it. Uh, and or no, second game I think, and then Sand was the third game as well. And then uh, or was it Sand? I don't remember. I I know I was messing around with weather that night, and then Rain was like, Rain, Rain's that good shit. I miss, I miss. Uh, weather wars and it's it's a lot of fun this generation with rain especially because you do get a uh, a you get a weather starter that has access to u-turn and has great dual stab in the rain also has recovery as well uh and it's hazard control like what a magical pokemon that actually turned out to be pelipper so that i can see that thing skyrocketing in usage uh i have a normal i guess defensive or defensive core kind of between uh fluffy uh and beware which uh the rain makes it so the fire weakness doesn't hurt as bad and then uh porygon 2 is a special defensive one i said that you know you got your araquanid in the rain then you have special defensive trevenant and then you got the key player in the back which is going to be ash greninja i figured i want to mess around with that in the rain see how bad it hurts and uh let's go ahead and jump right into it so uh, first thing you're probably going to be noticing right now is I now put the background music and the opponent's name at the beginning of the game. I figure that's the best thing to do so you can look out for it, and then that way I can link it in the description as well in case you're not, you know, looking out for that. I got you. I got your back from now on. I don't know why I'm not abusing templates and stuff more, but this is a new channel, new generation, uh, new everything. I'm going to do it right this time, and I think that's a good step in the right direction. So, uh, to start off the game, he's gonna go ahead and get his hazards up. I'm just gonna go ahead and U-turn out of there because I'm literally just the weather starter right now. Uh, I could have gone for Scald. I'm not really sure why I didn't because it's very obvious when a Mammal's in the lead slot this generation, it's just gonna be oblivious with Stealth Rock so that we can guarantee get the rocks up. Uh, but I go into Greninja stupidly thinking, you know what? He's definitely gonna let me uh, pick it off. And I completely forgot about the fact that he had a pre-marina, uh, you know, just sitting there full HP. And Water Shuriken really is not gonna do that much rain boosted, especially for the amount of hits that I get. I think I only get, what do I get, three? I think it stops. No, I got more. Wow, what am I saying? And that's rain boosted, but this thing is also very special defensive. Uh, that's also life orb boosted, but once again, this thing is also very special defensive. I think in terms of special attack and special defense, it is pretty damn high up there in the starters, if not the water starter with the highest special attack. I think I remember reading that somewhere. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go out into this thing because this is my uh, special wall, so I figure I can take a Moon Blast reasonably well. And even though I have given him the water boost on his side, uh, I think he might actually be Specs, which is why he switches out instead of trying to pick me off right there. Um, it, 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 se it seemed like he definitely probably was. I'm kind of doubting myself now. Uh, but then again, maybe he just went to Magierna. I should be saying Magierna because everybody in the comments was like, just say gear. Just remember the word gear because its face is a gear and it's got other, it's, ma it's made out of gears and clockwork and stuff. So just say Magierna, you'll like it. So, I like Magirna, except for when it's Aorus faring me on the hugest choke in the game. So, I'm really pissed off that the debut of that nickname, which, uh, I forget who gave that to me. I have it written down on a notepad somewhere, but Bear, For Bear Force 1 is, like, one of my favorite nicknames to come out of this generation. Um, anyways, it's not gonna get a lot of use because I let it take an Aorus Fear stupidly. I'm not sure what I was thinking there, uh, but I just switched it in directly into a an attack, and that is no bueno. But it's okay because uh, Beware does not actually happen to be the real star of the show, despite the fact that I built the team to kind of, you know, make them do good uh, or her do good. Uh, the answer to that question is actually going to be this Trevenant. So I've sped up a couple of key portions in this because this game gets real long if I didn't. But you're probably all familiar with the set to an extent from last generation when it was a thing. Uh, it is a uh, Curse, Sub, Protect, and Leech Seed. Um, it is Taunt Bait, which it, it is, you know, something very important to note. And this Mandibuzz is actually probably the prime thing to stop it because it can just keep going for foul play, keep breaking my sub. Uh, so I can't keep this up forever. But as you can see, all you really do, in case those of you are not familiar with the set, sub on the Switch, Leech Seed on the Switch, do something to help you get your... Uh, you know your recovery back uh and uh, the cool thing is is on the bottom screen in this generation you can tell when you've harvested your citrus berry back in case you weren't paying attention you can just open up the little information window which helped out a lot during this game uh but as you can see you know i'm i'm exposed from behind my sub and i think i have my berry if not i can always just harvest it back at a later time but that was actually a pretty good window in normal time to see what it can kind of do with sub protect and uh leech seed to an extent 
um, get a little bit of chip damage on this thing. Pretty negligent on this Pokemon, if I gotta say so myself, just because it does get access to Roost, but hey, you know what? It happens. So, I got into this thing fully expecting to die or take a status, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I can do something after all, and it turns out, no, he ends up you turning out into Buzzwall, and it's faster than me, and it ends up going for... I'm, I'm not surprised that it's faster than me. I'm just disappointed that it has sub because he's not even gonna let me, you know, try to get a straight kill on him. I'm not gonna go for a boosting move right here because every time I... S I'm, I'm personally a Choice Banded Beware. I'm not sure about anybody else not using a Choice Banded Beware, but I'd like to know what you're rocking because I feel like Choice Banded Beware is, is the play. This thing is awesome. This thing takes crazy hits. You know, just invest max HP, max attack, slap a Choice Band on it, and you're good. I can see it having mild potential with AV for kind of a compensated bulk in the other direction, but, I mean, I'm not sure how good it's special defense is anyway i think fluffy is just it compensates a lot for whatever it would have and he leech lives right now for a whopping one hp and that that's like the cheapest way that, that's like a power up punch off of a you know minus six baby kangaskhan pretty much D doesn't do much damage but it just counts out you you know hit something because you end up getting the attack boost off of that so i'm actually not that worried about it because bug fighting are both uh walled by flying and I'm not sure whether or not I actually happen to be faster, but based on the fact he has sub and lefties, he might be a little bit bulkier. Um, I'm also kind of bluffing here. I'm not sure about Pelipper's base speed because I'll be honest, just like the rest of you guys, I did not use a Pelipper before uh, Gen 7 as much as I should have, but now every, everybody's using them that wants to use rain, and for good reason. The thing's getting a lot of love, and you know, you put a damp rock on it, and you get a bunch of shenanigans for eight turns. Just like Politoed, but with earthquake immunity. Wonderful. So, uh, gonna go back out into this asshole again, and y'all already know what's coming, unfortunately. It is a pretty crucial part of the bat- actually, you know what? Psych, I psych myself out, because he sees this shit coming after the couple of turns that he had going on, and he immediately says, no, we're not putting up with that. And I'm like, you know what? No, fine, fine. That's totally okay. I'm not about to try to do this against a mammoth swine. So my next probably, you know, roadblock in the way to victory in this game is getting rid of this mammoth swine. Because if I can't get rid of this mammoth swine, then Trevenant is just gonna have a way harder time. And I'm realizing now how slow my team is and how ill prepared it is for a lot of his offensive threats. They don't match up well at all, especially since I've already lost my beware. Beware would have done pretty damn good against this thing. Uh, I think Buzzwall's still around too, unfortunately. And just a lot of other stuff that doesn't match well with P2, but I think I can probably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this thing, provided I don't flinch off of the Icicle Crash, despite the fact that I am special defensive. It's got good natural bulk, and the EV Light helps it out a little bit more too. But I see what he's going for, and, you know, I can't really do much about it, except for just try to stay in here and recover back up to full. That way, if I do get a turn somewhere in the middle where I flinch, it's not going to be to any major consequence whatsoever. So, he's going to go for an Ice Shard here. I'm not sure what he was expecting to get off of that if he thought I was you know just I guess just gauging to see how much it was gonna do maybe it was a misclick it honestly probably very well could have been a misclick uh with the way that that was going but I wasn't getting back or I was getting back a pretty good amount of HP he wasn't doing that much is ultimately what I meant to say but whatever the case uh it definitely could have just been you know the same with an ice crash and then not flinching uh does a really good amount with the uh with the earthquake there as well and then i have tri attack on this thing just to speed up the process honestly i think it would have just been another turn or two uh later if he had gone for an ice core crash instead of a shard because at that point i would have just recovered again in the middle um it's at this point in the game regrettably uh i do like my games to be a little bit faster paced and that definitely kind of helps right there a lot with that uh him flinching me right on his last turn of uh toxic damage as well so if he wants to preserve this priority for later he has to make a choice to take me out right now otherwise i get to recover back up to full and he says you know what i'm gonna trade porygon 2 for mammoth swine and given you know the fact that he has a magirna uh on his team i'd say that's a pretty good trade because a lot of my team happens to be pretty slow and the only thing that he would really need to ice shard is going to be greninja at a very low amount of hp and he does he does have the rocks up so i mean greninja i'm probably not going to bring in Greninja that much until I know I can kill it anyway. So, uh, but anyway, back to this asshole. I'm going to speed this up as much as it goes. So, Garchomp's going to come in, Buzzwell's going to come out. I'm going to sub, I'm going to leech seed, uh, and then you see Curse there in the middle. This is this is a really long chunk, so I'm sorry if you can't really tell what's going on, but it's sub, cursing, stalling. It's basically chip. 
is what it is. You know, there's no entry hazards. So Trevenant is basically just its own entry hazard where the team just keeps walking into the damn tree instead of the sneaky pebbles. Keeps getting lost in the woods. So uh, more sub, more leech seed action. Now with 50% more HP and 50% more curse. As you can see, my health bar has only gone into the red maybe one or two times. And it only takes one solid turn to set up a sub for you to be good. So obviously not good against taunt users and against, you know, like hyper voice, uh, like Gardevoir and like Sylveon and, you know, a couple of other sound based moves that would kind of suck against Yon Mega as well. Uh, but just know your opponent or know, know your matchup and all that stuff. But we get to the point where uh, I think I choked right here or something like that. That must have been it because I probably would have just switched out to uh i think a raquinid would have been a decent play there or even a pelipper i think because it is bold so that would have been a good switch I, I more than likely wasn't paying attention but i don't terribly mind that too much because i need to get the rain back up again anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and switch in and then i'm realizing right now that i don't think i have um i don't think i have defog on this thing i forgot if that's not breedable or if you have to uh if you have to import it up or what, I just wasn't paying too much attention. But I think it's just dual stab roost and U-turn, which is not bad. Um, I mean, it definitely probably has better place with uh, defog on the set somewhere. But I, I have no major complaints right now. Would have been nice to get a burn right there. But the fact that that's a rain boosted scald is really nice. I kind of wanted him to take me out. I'm not sure if he specs or not or if Pelipper just really is not equipped to take that attack but then again Magirna probably has pretty decent special attack I haven't fought them too many times and Soulheart's definitely helping it out as well so uh decides to volt switch out into uh Garchomp I'm completely spacing out here but this is where the game gets cool because there's a lot of chip that Trevenant left off in that like minute that I just completely sped up um basically all you really really needed to learn out of Trevenant is it made this get to the point where I can water shuriken and I don't think I, I don't know. This this part was pure luck, and this definitely helps me out because I get four rain boosted water shurikens off. Uh, the roll on four or five is pretty low, uh, but he did happen to be scarf chomp, so I had to do that. Otherwise, I was gonna lose because I think he was just gonna lock in on outrage and just be good to go. But uh, I'm gonna use Ash. I'm actually gonna use Garchomp right now as a setup for Ash Greninja, and we're gonna be good to go. So Trevenant and you know. Uh, Pelper got me to where McGeon is at right now, so I figure, screw it, I'm just gonna go for Water Shurik and see how much each hit does, and Battle Bond combined with Rain buffs it up nice, real nice. Uh, next thing on the list, I believe, happens to be Mendibuzz. So we're bringing it back from a 4-2, uh, a and then provided I can just take this out with a Life Orb Ice Beam. Data for a second, and then I remembered a freaking Ash Greninja stats, and I was like, why would I ever doubt that, especially with a Life Orb? That is ridiculous. I probably could take it out from full. Uh, but it was at that amount, and then he has Buzzwell left, which I think is at that much HP. Water Shuriken would definitely be able to take it out from there. And I think that's just from his own subbing and whatnot. But he decided to scoop from there because uh, Trevenant, Trevenant put him at a hard stop. Porygon 2 got rid of Mammoth Swine, which was the one thing getting rid of it. And then uh, Greninja cleaned up Mandibuzz after Trevenant died. So, Jesus Christ, give Trevenant some freaking... I don't know, give him like a saddle or something because he carried the entire team on his back. Good lord. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this game. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can leave a like rating, comment, subscribe, do your thing. You guys know how that goes. And uh, that's going to do it out of me. I think I got one more game, and then I'm probably going to have to pick up some more either on Discord or stream. You know how that goes. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.